Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a whimsical spring design based in children's rubber boots. The mechanics are easy. I added gravel to the bottom of the boots for stability, and then I just set in a vase filled with water and flower food. That way all I need to do is add all my favorite spring blossoms. To begin with, a base of foliage and some fun spring flowers. Maybe a little bit of the oregonia. The colors are so bright with the variegation. Just setting it down in. Adding some into both because I do want to keep them unified. Maybe a little bit of the piaris or lily of the valley bush. You may know it by the common name. Removing the lower foliage, letting it drape across. Maybe a hyacinth for fragrance. Tucking it low, that way as it continues to grow and bloom out, it won't get too heavy in the boot, but it adds that touch of fragrance that's so fabulous. Then going on with different foliages, a little bit of pittosporum, breaking it down, placing it in, getting that deeper green, maybe even a little bit of leather fern. Stripping the sides, giving it a cut, and placing. The base is established. Now I can start adding in my flowers. Maybe some beautiful yellow spray roses. Again, removing all the lower foliage, giving it a cut, just letting it nestle down in, weaving it into the foliage area. A hypericum in a real soft butter yellow. Green trick dianthus, adding a little more depth of green and just a little bit of the button chrysanthemums. They're so perky and bright, breaking it down, using the taller bit first, and then coming in with the shorter thinking about where I need just a little more yellow, maybe right in here with the hyacinth, then adding a few more blooms and repeating it in the second boot. As I finish, look at it from all sides, turn it, double check, make sure you're balanced, and then add in a little more texture, maybe a touch of solid aster to give it a little fluffiness coming up through the top. Maybe you'll find a hole that you need to add another rose or two. Filling it in so it gets brightness everywhere. And then repeat it with the other boot. The final touch, just to give it a little bit of movement. A small amount of lily grass. Just giving it a cut. Setting it in. Letting it trail outward. Repeat that in a couple more places. The recipe, actually quite easy. I started with that base of Pieris, some Oregonia, and some Pittosporum. Then I added the three hyacinth tucked in, two in one boot, one in the other. Then I have seven spray roses, two spray mums, three hypericum, six of the green trick dianthus, and then three stems of solid aster. Last, just a few strands of lily grass to complete the design. Spring design is so much fun. We have so many great flowers to work with. And then when you hunt around for a unique container, it really gets to be imaginative and exciting. You'll find more creative inspiration at our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there or pick up the telephone and give us a call at 503-223-8089. This is now, what are you going to create? It's your turn. Find some fun container, gather your flowers, and design away. Then, be sure to take a picture. Post it on social media and tag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you create as you do something you love. 